This week we are out in Brooklyn filming a video that I've been meaning to do for a long time. I finally got my hands on some Cine Still 800T. This seems to be the hype beast of film stocks because this stuff was sold out everywhere and I paid about $20 per roll for this. So today we're gonna to be shooting some of this precious film out here in Brooklyn. I've been shooting a lot of night photos here recently and Cine Still 800T is a pretty unique film for a lot of reasons, but one of them being that it's tungsten balanced, which means you get a bluer image. It looks really great for night photography. So we're gonna give it a try and see what kind of photos we can get. And my buddy Joel is behind the camera. So let's see how this goes. So Cine Still 800T, I have three rolls and I'm gonna load up the Mamiya. So the setup we have here today is the RZ, the eye level finder and the 65 millimeter. You can watch a video about the whole setup of the RZ right here, but I think we're gonna get started and take some pictures. Metering for 800 ISO. One of the nice things about Cine Still for night photography specifically is the 800 ISO. It's on the higher range of what film stocks come in, so it definitely makes it a little bit more sensitive. And I think I'm gonna take my first shot here. This is four seconds at F11. Three, two, one. So it's actually pretty bright out here. So this is gonna be like F16 at two seconds, which is pretty nice for nighttime. So like I mentioned with this film, one of the things that makes it special is the fact that it's tungsten balanced. With a modern digital camera, for example, when you shoot raw files, you can change your white balance in post but with film, the white balance is kind of ingrained in the film itself. So something like Portra 400 is daylight balanced, but Cine Still 800T is, I believe, the only tungsten balanced film for photography cameras that you can buy. And what that means is that in a nighttime situation, you can shoot much cooler blue looking photos or you can shoot normal looking photos in tungsten light. A uh, quick update, it's absolutely freezing outside. It feels like it's 10 degrees out. I also forgot gloves and I'm only three frames in and I'm hoping to shoot like three rolls today. So we'll see how this night goes, how far we make it. Also, I'm here with my buddy, Joel from Norway. What is up? We're gonna take some pictures. Let's do this. Let's do it. There's this parking sign up here kind of run down. It looks like it got struck by a car, but it's still standing. So I'm gonna make a picture of it. Also, we're pretty lucky with all the street lighting and the bright lighting on the side of these buildings. So it's definitely making my exposures a little quicker and easier. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Let's see if we can make this before the car comes. Two seconds at 16. Cold. Oh, the sign is moving. It's going to be a bit blurry, but that's fine. This seems like the shot right here with kind of the deli sign under the leaves. Ready? Three, two, one. I'm counting down as if anybody's waiting. There we go. So cold. Let's see if there's another shot here. This is an awesome shot right here. Three, two, one. I 
I say we go to the next spot. What do you think? Sounds good. We found three like identical looking trucks right here. So I think it might make for a pretty cool shot. And there's a lot of industrial stuff going on in the background. Oh, that actually looks really cool. Oh, wow, they reflect so interestingly. Yeah. So it's pretty much like a known photo cliche at this point that you shoot gas stations on Cine still. But for the sake of the video, for the sake of demonstration, we're gonna do it anyway and see what happens. Oh wait, never mind, I have to take one more. This looks good. <laughs> it's my first roll already. That's $20 worth of film right here. $20 worth of the most expensive film there is. So Cine still doesn't usually cost $20, but currently it's pretty much out of stock everywhere in New York. So that's why we ended up paying $20 a roll to make this video for you guys. So I hope hope you're enjoying this because <laughs> I'm down $60 in Cine still. I have some more interesting frames in mind. This is a pretty good spot. We're also going to go in this sludge puddle and see if we can make a gas station photo. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. Oh, dude, I got to move my car out of the shot. The truck moved, that's fine. Two seconds at 22, I'm gonna overexpose it at four seconds. No, I'm gonna do two seconds at 16. And let's see how that looks. Hold it. Here we go. I think for the sake of experiment, I'm gonna overexpose one by one, two, three, four stops. No, that's too many. I'm gonna take a frame overexposed by three stops and see what kind of difference that makes. Eight seconds at F11, definitely not my strongest frame, but there it is. So Cine Still themselves don't actually make this film. This is originally a Kodak film that Cine Still, the company, takes and they cut it up into medium format and 35 millimeter format so that it's available for photographers to use. 800 ISO is kind of a unique characteristic to it. I'm very excited to be shooting this film again and to be out here in Brooklyn with Joel. Yeah, let's go take some more pictures. We spotted a nice old building here that says Greenpoint Wood Exchange. It looks like it's some really old writing on there. So this is gonna be ridiculously difficult to fit into one frame because this building is just massive. I'm using the 65 millimeter here so I can just barely fit all of this into the frame, but I don't know if it's the best composition. There it is, that was eight seconds. We got a couple frames left here, so we're trying to find some worthwhile subjects, and we found a pretty cool scene with a bridge in the background. Just pulled up the car, and let's check it out. Oh yeah, this is definitely the one. Wow, look at this. There's like a skid mark leading, not like a poop skid mark, but a car skid mark, like leading up to this right here. And it looks pretty cool. Three, two, one. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my two rolls of Cine Still 800 
I definitely had a lot of fun out here in the freezing cold in Brooklyn. Make sure you go check out my buddy Joel. He has a YouTube channel and also is an awesome photographer. So I'll leave his and my Instagram in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. Peace. And good night. And good night. Let's go, dude.